BLM co-founder rakes in millions, has Mansion to prove it. This is the Editor's Choice Report, and this is the top story that I've chosen for the Editor's Picks. This is trained Marxist and BLM co-founder Patrice Cullors reportedly buys $1.4 million estate, and this is from what I call the right, and this is Legal Insurrection. And it's uh, from, from Legal Insurrection. It's been barely a year since Joy, George Floyd's killing reinvigorated the Black Lives Matter movement. But for its co-founder, Patrice Cullors, a lot has changed for the better. While millions of Americans remain unemployed due to months of COVID shutdown, Cullors, a self-described trained Marxist, and, and she, she, she does call herself a Marxist, so that's fair, reportedly just, although, you know, Marxist is one of these, uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a Marxist, I'm not favoring Marxism, but it is... There's a lot of elements to Marxism. It's, it's, it's another one of these. There's so much nuance and refinement that we could talk about. What kind of Marxist is she? Not all Marxists are the same. But anyway, reportedly just dropped $1.4 million on a fourth house. That's right, four houses. You know what I equate this to? I equate this to she is just another false. She's like a false prophet in a religion. If the Black Lives Matter movement is a religion, if critical race theory is a new religion she's one of the false prophets so she's one of the people slinging fear and hate and 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 empty promises all to get people to send her money so that she could become a gazillionaire kind of like she's the kenneth copeland she's the kenneth copeland of the black lives matter movement that's what i would think of her as other headlines here, we have Jonathan Turley blast Twitter censorship of BLM co-founder buying $1.4 million home. So apparently, if you want to share information about her buying this one4 her fourth home, her $1.4 million home, Twitter will censor you. Twitter will protect the Black Lives Matter movement from getting any type of uh, scrutiny. Now, you can bet that they are not going to protect Kenneth Copeland, nor, nor should they, by the way. And I'm not a Kenneth Copeland fan, by the way. I, as a Christian, I feel for John, uh, Kenneth Copeland the way I, I, I hope that a lot of people, well, a lot of people, if, there are people that have variations of what you might call critical race theory, social justice, whatever, that are not, I'll just say, not coercive minded. They don't believe in, so like Christianity, there's versions of Christianity that assume coercion as a right and and so the people that maybe actually want to see what they call social justice when they want to see like actual parody actual egalitarianism not that i think that's attainable but if they think they can i'm sure for them she's as much of a, an embarrassment and a, and a and a cringe as kenneth copeland is is to we christians that that align ourselves with a sovereign god and and not a prozac god Student government bill wants students to have power to punish professors found guilty of oppression. This is pretty awesome. I mean, awesome by terrifying. This is from the College Fix. A member of the University of Washington's new student senate has introduced a resolution to create a system for students and staff to serve on a jury to resolve all discrimination, accusation, and charges that violate the University of Washington's mission statement. Yeah, I love it. Give, give yourselves the power to essentially... Well, you can create vague standards that the priest kings can define. And they want to make themselves priest kings over the very college professors that trained them to think like Bronze Age priest kings instead of uh, 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 current year uh, axial age type of uh, consensualist, I'll say. Bitcoin bull Mike Novogratz warns of existential crisis if the U.S. fails to create digital dollar. This is from Bitcoin News. U.S. faces growing calls to boycott 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing over China's human rights abuses. That's from Washington Post. The United States considers reinforcing its Pacific sanctuary. We're on the rocks. That's a story you should really check out. And laws and competition complicate Uber expansion in China. CBSnews.com. Yep, Uber, Uber looking to make that dollar in China. Just keep an eye on how Uber positions its considerable wealth power in the political arena in, in, in light of that news.